It's bombs away on the basketball court tonight on the beautiful campus of the United States Air Force Academy. Falcons, losers of three straight, hoping to regain their winning ways. They're hosting one of the hottest teams in the Mountain West Conference, the defending Mountain West champions, Boise State Broncos. And it's all right here on Altitude Sports. Smart about what threes they're shooting when they're looking for that deep shot. Here come the Falcons. Jeffrey Mills, the Petritus, right hand layup, and the Falcons strike first. I'm West freshman of the year last season. Max Rice, son of head coach Leon Rice, with the shot clock winding down, he'll throw up a righty, and Boise State ties it up. That's Around the horn they go. Back up top to Petritus. He will go to the basket. Petritus forces one up, and Reedus, Petritus, does it again. Ethan Taylor now on the baseline. Here's Petritus. Will he go again? Yes, he will. Reverse layup's good. First six points of the game, all from Rita's Petritus for the Falcons. Inside now, Najee Smith turning on Hydebreeder, and Najee, powerful. Too. So each time they're they're cutting, they're moving without the basketball, they're doing it with a purpose. Petritus off the board, and one! And now Petritus has an and one opportunity. Reedus Petritus. Here come the Falcons. Jeffrey Mills out to Heidbreeder. Finally, a three is made. Jake Heidbreeder strikes. Kanovich up top. To Rice. Inside, Dagenhart. He's so crafty with his footwork. Let's see him go to work here. Left hand. Thank you. That's what he does. Pretty. And Becker did. On Boise. Shaver's got it. He's their leading rebounder as the point guard, averaging over six a game. Kuzmanovic for three. He finds the bottom of the bucket. The 6'5 junior from Serbia. That's Air Force has. They've gone nearly three minutes without a bucket. Here's Shaver. So quick. So deft. Great touch off the glass. Marcus Shaver Jr. Green. He was out of that New Mexico game. Cross court Shaver for three. And that is wow. nothing but twine. What a pass to, to Shaver down and ready across the court. Force five. Here comes Petritus on Najee Smith. He falls. Carter Murphy's got it. He'll pop. Tough shot behind the backboard. Off and running. That's one that Corbin Green's got to knock down. Petritus for three. That's good. Petritus did a great job reading the defense. Rice picked up by Reedus Petritus. He'll turn on him. Let one go. He's pretty crafty in the lane, isn't he? Yeah, he was patient in that. Taylor on him. He's calling for a pick. Dagenhart gives it. Now Dagenhart posting up. He wants it. They go cross court. Abo! Abo got up. Wow. Good look as the shot clock was winding down for the Falcons from Taylor. Max Rice working off the Dagenhart. Pick and Max Rice will do that to you. He is a deadly outside shooter. Struggling uh, with the shot tonight, the Falcons are, but that shot is as easy as they come. Great play out of bounds. Posting up, just can't get the ball. Got it now. Decker on him. 6 7 Dagenhart. Back out to Rice. Max Rice. He will hurt you if he finds space. Always wary of that shot clock, and it's stolen by Shaver. Shaver, the distance. Great hustle by Hydebreeder, but Marcus Shaver just too quick. Quicks, not to Kuzmanovic. Rice, bang. Max Rice. Boy, he brings that shot from his waist, but it doesn't miss. The play in this first half. See what they can brew up here. Rice. Rice, three more. My goodness, Max Rice. The Petritus. Taylor's got it now. Five on the shot clock. You hear the fans behind us saying, shoot. Two on the clock. Taylor, fall away. That one is short. And it looks like the last shot. That one is long. But what a rally by Boise State. Down eight early in this game. They put on a show. 
late in the first half, and they lead at halftime. He'll go. He'll turn now. Shaver's turn. Little step back action. My goodness, right in the eye. That was pretty. Ethan Taylor's got it. You can see how frustrated the Falcons are getting shot clock, and there is a much needed jumper from their leading scorer, Jake Hydreeder. Here's Mills on Rice to Petritus. Nice lead, great finish. State Broncos credit, they're not afraid to fire from anywhere. Taylor underneath to Petritus. Nice post. He misses the lamp. Rebound. That's good. Petritus guarded by Dagenhart. Becker's got it. Mills for three. Jeffrey Mills, we got a game. Mills favor. Taylor thought about the three. That'll take it the distance. And look at Air Force now. The lead down to four. Come the Broncos trying to find the offense again. They've lost it for a while. Max Rice, when you need it, go to Rice. Dagenhart. The leading scorer for Boise State, only two points tonight. He wants it down low. He gets it down low, and he will finish down low with a chance to make it a three-point play. Free throw line as well. well. You mentioned who else is going to step up. Nothing angers a coach more than the unforced air. Here comes Shaver. Wow, is he quick. He beat Petritus to the rim, and now the lead is back up to nine because it slowed him down. You saw it there. Here's Camden Vanderswag, left hand, nice and done. Taking Max Rice to the hole. Now you can see it, Mills. He'll go. Back out. Becker. Finally, Bo Becker makes his first shot of the night. By Becker, great defense. Mills has it. Here comes Taylor. He'll go, and we've got a two-point game. Timeout, Boise State. Air Force right back in it. Dagenhart with Taylor on him. Dagenhart takes his time. Stops, turns, left hand. Man, that is good. Finesse. Fin Jeffrey Mills with Shaver on him. There's Vanderswag. He'll go. Vanderswag will finish. Protecting it like a running back. Van Becker is going to go on Dagenhart. Reset. Eight on the clock. Cross-court pass. Mills. Four on the clock. Mills finishes, and Jeffrey Mills goes to the foul line with a chance to give Air Force the lead. And the Falcons are shooting 56% from the field. See if the Broncos can respond now. Shaver with it, trying to get it to Dagenhart. Mills, undersized, Dagenhart, too much for him. Impressive, impressive footwork from Dagenhart. He starts at the top of the key, makes his way down, and ends up with a layup. That's... To Marcus Shaver Jr. Down low, great pass, great cut, and that's a foul on Air Force. Max. He makes both. Shaver all over. Hybrid is going to take Shaver to the rim, and Hybrid is going to get some. You For the Falcons, getting them open looks from deep. Shaver on his way to the bucket, can't buy it, but he's going to get rewarded at the free throw line. I'm ready to check in. Free throw's good. Second freebie. That one is too strong. Rebound Air Force. Let's see if they go after Shaver here. He's limping around. Shaver fouls on purpose, take himself out of the game. Yeah, he could be done for the night. Well, you could see him kind of gauge it as he was running back on defense. And the moment he realized that he couldn't go, instantly went to foul. Both teams in the bonus. Mills' first free throw is off the mark. Those freebies, so important. So important, especially down the stretch in a close game like this. Have to step up to the line confidently and knock those in. Kuzmanovic out to Dagenhart. Detritus on him, gives him off to Vanderswag. Here comes the double. Abo pushing off, trying to find some space. Hyde Breeder on him. Abo turns around. That one is good. Shibuzo Abo with a big shot down the stretch. And Abo's crazy athletic. You can see that within the first couple dribbles or moves that he makes. And right there, look to attack. Hyde Breeder did a pretty good job. And Abo just stayed with it. Here's Vanderswag. Petritus, he'll go. 
Left hand, he'll finish. And Redis Petritus, who is delivered all night long, looking to deliver a three-point play. Points, tying the season high. And that one rims in and out. Two missed free throws down the stretch for Air Force. Digging out on Vendor's walk. Here comes the help. Air Force sending help right away. They don't want to get beat by Dagan Hart. The scramble has been really good out of it, too, for the Falcons. Kuzmanovic for three. Wow! The Serbian product. Big, big shot to give Boise a five-point cushion. 39% three-point shooter. That's what he's looking to do. Timeout from Joe Scott. Not much time to work with in a five-point deficit. And I'm thinking about those free throws. For sure. Those are ones that you're going to wish you had back. But right here, what a move to create space, pull back, quick stop. High breeders got it. He'll go back to Mills. High breeder. Mills. A minute to play now. High breeder coming off the pick. Mills will go baseline. High breeder thought about it. Vanderswag will shoot it. This one is tipped. And saved by Boise State, and now they've got everything going their way. Up by five. A foul by Camden Vanderswag on Max Rice. He I mean, they're a pretty good free throw shooting team, Boise State is, but that's the one you don't want to send a free throw. Coach's son. 22 for Max Rice. Coach's sons make free throws. And now the lead is seven. Got to have a three. High breeder, he'll shoot it. Too strong, Becker with the hustle. Becker almost stolen, but Ethan Taylor's got it now. 30 to go. Petritus, that one's blocked. Vanderswag, he's fouled, and he'll go to the foul line. Vanderswag, 17 and five, seven and two in conference. And now they've got the... Let's see who they choose to foul. You don't want to foul number 12, Max Rice. They're going long ball. Abo's got it. Abo to finish it. The Texas Tech transfer with the punctuation mark. What a great play to draw up, too, for the Broncos looking for that long ball, that long opportunity to really seal the deal here. Taylor tries for three. Max Rice has it, and now they're going to milk the clock up by seven. That'll do it here at Clune. Boise State, you can see why they're such a tough team. Very experienced, very veteran, and they made all the big plays down the stretch. Yeah, and credit Air Force, too, for the second half that they played. 31-25 to 25 was the score in the second half, so the Falcons did make some adjustments, found a way to compete and make it a close game. Petritus put on a show for this Air Force squad, but at the end of the day, it just wasn't enough against a very disciplined Boise State team. Particular. That'll do it here from Clune Arena. For Altitude Sports, Falcons and Broncos took us down to the wire. Heck of a finish, 59-52. We're back Friday night. Your Falcons hockey team takes on Mercyhurst. This has been a presentation of Altitude Sports and Entertainment, your home for the Air Force Falcons. For myself, Nick Lombardi, Katie Lingy, the entire crew, thanks for joining us. We'll see you all season long on Altitude.